Well guys, uh, it's uh, Monday morning and we just packed up and left Church Bay Campsite on Anglesey and I'm now following me sat nav and I'm heading uh, to Brecon Beacons via the road between uh, Snowdonia and the other mountain range hopefully that's the plan and uh, these guys are heading off to look at uh, Bagner Castle and they're going a different route to me so um, we'll be together until we get to the mainland and uh, then we'll uh, go out one separate ways it's been a super duper weekend um, and, and now I've got two three days off during the week so we get a little glimpse of the sea here on our right we're dead ahead sort of now just above the hedge line and the tree line hopefully it's uh, all coming out good on drift uh, LX camera so there's the sea just to the right of this building this white building in front just nip round this corner there she is See, we're uh, just about to go over the bridge. And got a view up there of the ha the house on the island look. And the metal bridge over there, which looks fantastic. So give you a quick glimpse of that little stand up upset the people behind but that that property on the on that island looks brilliant doesn't it and snowden national park dead ahead So we're slipping off to Bagner here. And I don't know if the lads are going my direction initially, but I'm taking the 487 to Bagner and Carnarvon. Back on board guys, we're just heading towards the mountain range again, look at the views and we're at this roundabout between the 4244 and uh, the views are good. Looks like it could be rather wet up there, or well, at least windy, I expect it's windy if nothing else. So we're now going Lambarus. 4055 I think it was or 4244 even it's on the sat nav great great views to the mountains I'd like to think that I can walk those mountains again but uh, at the moment I'm uh, I'm not very fit being honest under the national grid line double conductors I think it is probably 132 that's sad
a 60 mile an hour road and I'm doing 45 and no one's in a hurry to get past me so that suits me what a beautiful day full tank of fuel bacon butties for breakfast all packed up, what more could anyone want? And we're just gonna take the first exit on this roundabout which is the uh, A4086 to Lan Beres. Parking for Snowdonia. Mountain Railway. Snowden Mountain Railway. Look at that. I just couldn't see any trains in. I ain't got time to go on the trains, if I'm honest. Uh, not at the moment because we're uh, we're like about 11 o'clock I suppose it's not late but I don't want to rush the rest of the, the ride ah that says Lynn Paris is this water, Lynn Paris on the left. <clears throat> I expect they've got a hot, well, they will have a hydro electric plant off of that because I saw the turbine on display, you know. So. <clears throat> Quarrying all of the rock out of there. Probably granite. I don't think it's slate. But, uh, scootling around the the Lynn Paris. I think we're pulling here. Let this car past. And we'll just have a look. We'll ride up the footpath to the next pull-in point. That one was a bit busy. Hey up. So we'll leave her running. I'll just get off and give you a look. In fact I might Oh, I might not get off, I might just stand up and show you what there is down there. Not a lot really. Sheep on the side of the mountains. Not a lot to view really, I don't think. We just, uh, Carry on, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. We just go steady, enjoy the views. Someone walking his hound, or hounds, or two of them. 
I expect my dogs missed me, maybe. I missed him. And the wife and the kids, to be honest. But I am having a good time. So, we just shut the visor up so I can talk to you again. Slip. It's fantastic. 40, A4086. In the valley bottom between the mountain summits. You can see where they've worked the sides of the mountains. This is Nantes Paris. Nantes Paris. Oop, a few bumpity bumps. Either there's a policy in front or it's a sheep on a road. Look at this. And a lamb. What are you doing on the road, lads? What are you doing on the road? <laughs> they got a death wish, those boys. <laughs> The bus comes through here. Making a lot of clunk on my bike. It's the chain. Yeah, I've got a couple of little tight spots on my chain. Shouldn't clonk really. I don't think it should. But no point worrying about it now. I've caught the mile. Must be a waypoint I put in. When it gets there, it'll say, "Do you want to carry on?" I say, "Yes, please. Yes, please." I have arrived, it says. Arrived. So we're just pulling up here. And make sure we go at the next waypoint, which should already be in. It's a youth hostel. Look at that guys. So we've got our next waypoint in. And we're carrying on on the A4086. That's going to take us down between the mountain ranges. Or the peaks. Snowdonia is on our left. And I don't know the names of the peaks on the right. But Snowden is up on our left, according to my map, when I looked at it earlier. Woo, 
so this should be like an east easterly bound road and I think we're going to go on that road which is just the other side of that water in front of us on the right we're going to head up that way we're not taking the road back on ourselves that's the 498 a 498 Woohoo! It snowed's up there somewhere. And there's no one on the road, no one trying to get past me. It's super duper. And we're going to go the 4086 to Chapel Courage. Courage? That's where we're going. So here we go, left, Chapel, Currig, Currig. The hotel there, look. No vacancies, all booked up, look. People walking Snowden, probably. Busy there too. So here we are just going past the lakes, guys. And um, we've got an impatient driver overtaking on a not very good place, but that's not my problem. And these are, uh, oh, it was there, now it's gone, the name of them. Lynn something it was, L Y double N, and then it disappeared off the sat nav, so sorry about that. He's the second one of the two. You could probably do some camping on the shore of that if you're allowed, or a bit of wild camping down there. Looks good on the far side, and it looks like there's a track or a footpath along the far side. But no one's on there. There's someone out on a paddleboard or a canoe out there, look. It's a bit cold to be out in the water, I think. Oh, Adventure Week ends probably. Capel uh, Curig. Curig. We'll whiz through. Nice bridge, river, stream even, sheep, Bagna. Off to the left and we're going off to the right on the A5. So we're just coming in to this little village and we're going through and out on the A5 to Langollen. And this is, I'll find the name of the place. Oh, well there's a Royal Oak Hotel anyway. And uh, looks like there's something going on over there. I wonder if that's a all lit up high street church it's train station and toilets riverside caravan and camping
So we're going to A5 to Langollen. River Conway here. We're just going to go over River Conway. River Barn Tea Gardens. Decent views from the river bridge. Look at that. That is some. A reservoir or lake, isn't it? Look at that. <coughs> I guess they can cope with a bit more water in there, yeah. <coughs> Looks like they've got a yachting club. Fantastic. You see all these masts over there, definitely a sailing club. What a lovely place. I bet you could have some serious racing on that. Hi everyone, so this is Langawa Station, narrow railway, and it's parking all day five quid. Disables a pound. <sighs> We're not staying here. Look at the signals. This is a picnic area, I think. Cup of tea. Well guys, I just pulled over at the lake side. Beautiful place. And I'm just having five minutes and a cup of tea. So let's uh, she's boiled already. Well, a cup of coffee actually. So pour myself a nice cup of coffee. Look at that. Just the job. Parked up and uh, right on the lakeside. Yeah, beautiful place it is. I'll put a picture up um, at this point in the video, but just a still picture of um, of the lake uh, and there's sort of uh, a narrow gauge railway runs around it. It doesn't look like it's here and operational at the moment. There's no train on it. There's a station. <laughs> and point set of points and a loo and a parking area so i'll put that on and have a look and uh, see what you think in the meantime i'm gonna enjoy a quick break cup of coffee thanks a lot catch you soon hi guys uh just coming over on the b Four three nine one uh, from the lake I was at, and these roads are brilliant up here. This is like Scottish quality turns and bends, really, really tight bends. 
uh, which you could have a lot of fun on if that was your intentions uh, but look at the scenery mate um, coming down the other side it's absolutely fantastic um, I haven't got a lot of battery left I don't think so I'm just trying to give you sort of like woo, this is tight dipstick type uh, views but look how look at this look at that wow it's like being in the in in uh, italy on the mountains it is brilliant um absolutely fantastic whoa this is brilliant whoa can have some fun on these without being too silly absolutely brilliant the bends the views the tarmac's good quality it's really good it, I hope this is coming out good on the look at that I'll do a little a little bit of speed but not too much just to make this video a little bit more exciting but this is downhill uh, really I don't know if you can see me sat nav but you look at the it's absolutely brilliant and there was some mega mega like virtually u-bends oh cattle grid slow right down go over it nice and straight yeah. just set up me camp me tent in the campsite uh, right sort of just north of Brecon Beak Brecon Beacons between Brecon Beacons and Brecon the town and tent set up chairs up cooking gears out ready to go and uh, bikes parked there and we've virtually got the whole place to house morning guys newbury biker just showing you our old penny fan is in the clouds, Bracken Beacons. Tuesday morning. <laughs> Tents covered in dew. Bike covered in dew. Lovely morning. 